Hey YouTube, this is Trinity Productions, Trinity Pro Sound coming at you again with another video. This time we're doing a RCF uh, speaker. This is a tall skinny speaker, a column line array. It is the NXL24A active and uh, we'll show you the inner workings of that in a little bit. But um, we're going to be doing one of our take it apart videos showing you this new um, tall skinny speaker column line array and getting into the inner workings of it. We'll show you a video top to bottom of it, um, show you the drivers in it and the famous um, amplifiers, digital amplifiers that are in the, uh, the NX series line as, as a lot with the uh, entire RCF line. So um, anyway, we're going to pause the camera here and um, do just a pan up and down so you can see what the speaker looks like and we'll be right back. So now as we kind of pan down a little bit here, you can see the uh, base plate that we have got it on a rotary base and um, that is the bottom of the speaker. It is, uh, I'd say approximately about eight inches wide and uh, almost four feet tall. We'll get into the exact dimensions of it. But there you can see as we get to the top of it, um, two of these stacked on top of a subwoofer would make an absolutely um, killer sound system. So um, the first thing we're going to end up doing is um, taking off the grill and looking at the drivers. But before we do that, we're just going to um, go over the specs here real quick. Um, frequency response is 65 uh, to 20,000. Max SPL is 131 dB. Um, horizontal coverage is 120 by 30 um, with a slightly tilted down angle on it. Uh, the compression driver is a 2 inch with a 2.5 inch voice coil. And then the woofer, there are four 6 inch drivers with inch and a half voice coils. It has an input output XLRs. Input sensitivity minus 2 to plus 4. Crossover frequency is at 800. Uh, it has thermal uh, limiting, has a soft limiter in it. Um, controls it has a volume and EQ shape and mic and line. Um, the power amplifier is 700 watts RMS, um, 400 watts uh, peak, 200 watts RMS to the high frequency driver up in the top, and then we've got 500 RMS watts distributed through all four of the other uh, six inch drivers. Uh, cooling is convection, no fans, nice and quiet. And uh, it's got power cons um, in and out on it. So um, height wise, it is. Uh, almost 42 inches tall. Uh, width wise, uh, just about 8 inches. Uh, depth is almost 11 uh, from front to back, kind of tapered a little bit. Um, the cabinet is um, wood and uh, has uh, some um, M10 mounting uh, fly points on it, um, handles on both sides. And then it's got a pole mount cap and um, it's all black. So um, weight-wise, uh, almost 60 pounds, and um, it is almost 60 pounds. So anyway, with that said, we're going to go ahead and pull the grill and get into this. Be right back. Okay, so all the screws are out there, machine screws that go into the sides of this wonderful grill. Again, foam line, just like all of the NX series speakers. So now we get into it, and you can see the, um, the six-inch drivers uh, we do have four of them, one down here, one here, one here, one here, and then we've got the horn assembly um, that this whole thing, like I said, has a slightly uh, tilted down angle to it. Uh, two of these combined um, would just be phenomenal um, as far as a, um, a sound system for tall skinny speakers on top of a sub for you know, some of your um, events, smaller events, bigger events. Um, this thing does have a lot of output to it. So um, go ahead and take a look at the side of it. We've got the handles on it. Um, that is on both sides symmetrical. One of the things that is on it, um, and I don't think we can see, it's up here at the top, um, and it's on both sides so that you can lay it down and use it as a um, front fill, which is a fantastic idea. So um, put it across the front of the stage, use it as a nice um, high level front fill, very low profile absolutely phenomenal RCF sound. Then on the back of it, and uh, this is where the amplifier section is, 
Um, we'll get into that, um, in fact, right now and kind of just do a zoom in and show you the, uh, the different inputs and switches and buttons on the um, amplifier of this speaker. So now you can see that uh, we are at the top of the amplifier. We've got the, uh, the inputs and outputs. There's also a uh, quarter inch through on it. Um, there is a, and we'll zoom in here, a flat and a, uh, I guess it would be a boost response. I can't read it on the video screen as I'm trying to do this. Volume input control, and then it's got the, uh, the mic or the line um, sensitivity on it. And then as we kind of zoom back out on it and pan down, just convection cooling, heat sink um, on it. And then we do have a fuse, power con in and out, and a on-off switch. And like I said, you can see there in the, uh, the right-hand side a little bit the, um, the little rubber feet to lay it down for a, um, for a monitor. So um, that's the amplifier section. We'll go ahead and, and we're going to end up pulling that out here and um, looking at that as well. But uh, what we want to do now is get in and look at the drivers. Okay, so now we've got the driver yanked out and we're not going to pull all of them out because they're all the same. But i um, show you this driver. It is a, uh, a six inch driver. Um, it is a stamped basket. It has a ceramic magnet on it, um, fairly tight. Um, surround on it. Um, typical speaker construction. I, all the magic is done inside. So um, that is what the four six inch drivers look like. Um, the sound output of this thing is just absolutely phenomenal for what these can do. It is ported for uh, the bass response and um, we're going to go ahead and pull this high frequency horn assembly and take a look at the uh, the horn assembly and also the driver that is on this, uh, making this such a phenomenal sounding tall skinny speaker. Be right back. Okay, so we removed the horn assembly and uh, this reminds me of the assembly that's in the uh, uh, line array, the HDL20A. Um, similar, um, looks like a similar technology type horn, um, but uh, it is all um, plastic construction. And uh, you can kind of see down the throat of it there. Um, they do have some, uh, look like symmetrical waveguides on it um, that you can see here um, on both sides. And then they've done a really uh, unique thing with the driver on this um, that it has this aluminum plate and there's a little cutout in the back um, where it goes so that this provides um, vertical stabilization so it doesn't go anywhere and a little bit of horizontal as well. Um, inside the, uh, the cabinet when this is completely mounted in. Um, this whole assembly weighs maybe four or five pounds. Um, again, like I said, it's all plastic construction um, and uh, reminisce of the, uh, the waveguide and driver assembly in the uh, HDL20As. So um, this is what gives it the, uh, the nice smooth high frequency. Again, the uh, crossover frequency on this is um, 800 hertz. Um, inside, as we looked at this, um, it is multi-layer um, birch. Um, so good, solid cabinet construction, um, made very well braced inside, lots of bracing, um, so that it is a, a good, solid, solid box. You can kind of see inside here, um, there is some, um, absorption material, dampening material inside the box as well um, to help with uh, acoustic resonance inside of it. And that is really about the inner workings of this particular box. What we're going to do now is uh, pull the amplifier, let you take a look at that, uh, which is the um, 700 watt um, digital amp on the back of this. Um, pretty much common to their entire NX line. And stay tuned. We will be right back. Okay, that didn't take long. So anyway, here is where all the magic happens. So this is the digital amplifier assembly heat sink um, for this um, NX speaker. And we've already taken a look at the front. Uh, this whole assembly is maybe four pounds. Um, stinking amazing how light stuff gets now and how powerful. 
um, input section, power section down here at the bottom. Um, as you can see, everything attaches to the board. Everything is on the board. Um, all the DSP amplifiers, um, all of the uh, semiconductors uh, for the amplifier, power supply, chokes, I mean, just everything is on the, uh, the circuit board. And um, it does a fantastic job. A huge amount of surface mount technology um, being used on these. Um, but this is where all the magic happens to be able to align all of the drivers and do the crossover for the, uh, the high frequency driver that is at the top of this box. So um, does an absolutely fantastic job. Um, we have NX um, speakers in our inventory that we use for uh, stage monitors and have sold quite a few of the NX boxes, listened to them before we have sent them on their way with their uh, happy camper customers. And I can tell you um, with conviction that the NX is just a fantastic sounding box. Um, the entire line has just been very well engineered by RCF. So um, what we're going to do is get this back together, play a little music through it, and then we're also going to do a, um, a trace on it uh, with, um, with Smart and let you take a look at that, uh, see what it looks like uh, with a little bit of noise running through it. So we'll get this back together, get some noise through it, and um, take a and look and see what uh, Smart looks like on this as well. One of the other things as we are putting this back together that is noteworthy is that all of the screws whoops, for the um, amplifier, for the high frequency driver, for the low frequency drivers, um, even for the grill, all of the screws are all machine thread so there's nothing to get stripped out as far as the wood is concerned. So they've done a really good job with that. So we're going to put this back together and be right back. Well, we've got it all back together, run a little bit of music through it just to make sure we've got everything set up. So we're going to smart this and uh, show you the uh, frequency response of it. Not sure what it's going to look like uh, based on where we're at here um, and this way this room is set up. Um, see what happens to it. So um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get smart set up and uh, we'll be right back. Well, we got the smart rig set up and it is here on the laptop and so we're going to be sharing those plots with you um, at the uh, back end of this video but um, we are back together uh, completed and uh, this NX L24A I think I keep getting the model number wrong but um, oh well sorry about that um, this thing is absolutely fantastic we have listened to it um, the thing just has fantastic output, great vocal clarity, great highs to it. Um, as far as the dispersion is concerned with the six inch drivers in it, it just is extremely wide. Um, two of these stacked on top of a sub like an 8004, um, single 18 with a couple thousand watts behind it would just sound absolutely killer. It does have a pole mount socket on it. It does have hardware to mount two of these together. They also have flywear for them so if you want to fly them um, as part of an install in a, uh, a venue um, you can do that. Um, they're great for houses of worship. They're great for corporate work because they're nice and skinny. Um, if you're doing anything corporate wise with iMag um, it gets it out of the camera's view. It's very narrow. And you're not having to deal with uh, extremely large speakers. So that's it. The RCF NX L24A, a fantastic tall, skinny speaker. If you have any questions, feel free to email us. Um, we're always open to answers. Uh, we try to answer every email that comes through on YouTube. Um, check us out on Facebook uh, under Trinity Pro Sound. And then also our website, as you will see here, www.trinityprosound.com. Um, like I've said in the past, we are dealers for uh, RCF, for DB Technologies, and about 45 other different lines. So um, I call us the home of the killer deals um, because that's what we do. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching the video. We're going to go ahead and uh, put in some of the, um, the traces off the... Um, the smart here and let you take a look at that. It's fairly flat. I was quite surprised, quite pleased, really. So anyway, Trinity Productions, trinityprosound.com. Thanks for watching. 
Okay, so here are our smart traces. In this first one we took was a flat trace. The microphone is about six to eight feet away from the speaker, uh, somewhat on access, and uh, fairly flat, uh, one twelfth uh, scale. Uh, shows a little bit of boost presence down in the low frequency area, um, but overall fairly flat. This next one is the boost filter in that enhances some of the low frequencies. It boosts it, you can hear it, but you don't see much of it um, in the, uh, the response. And then the next slide that is going to be coming up for the Smart Trace is going to be a overlay of the boost and the flat response as you'll see here and you can kind of see where it ends up boosting um, versus the, um, the overall flat response. Could have a little bit to do with the room we were in. Um, it was fairly small, ceiling is um, not too high, but um, overall um, looks fairly decent. So anyway, thanks for watching.